artist. We know that June is African American Music History Month. And if you like hip hop, you are in for a treat. Joining me now is author Eric Morris. Eric, thank you so much. Yep, absolutely. This Better is so cool. Okay, how did you really fall in love with hip hop? Oh man, I grew up on hip hop. I um, grew up here in St. Louis, and uh, right when hip hop was starting to take hold, Run DMC, as we just heard, um, it was it was my life. So when I grew up, got into the music industry, and uh, I was a writer, and um, started to have kids. I have four kids now, and I just really wanted to share it with them. I wanted to share hip hop with them, and so I. I wrote this uh, sort of rhyming couplets, Dr. Susian story of hip hop from the beginning till now. And this is incredible. You're really sharing it with the world. It's a beautiful book and it is in the style of claymation. How did you get into the claymation art form? Oh man, well I lucked out. I met this amazing artist in LA uh, named Annie Yi, and mm -hmm. she makes these claymation figures. Um, and we did, we, we did another book first, which was What is Punk? And before What Is Punk was even finished, I was daydreaming about like a, like a Play-Doh Biggie Small, nice. uh, Play-Doh LL Cool J, and I was like, we got to do this. We got to do what is hip hop. Oh my and gosh. Yeah, she did amazing work. I love this. And this is yeah. something, like you said, that you fell in love with. You got into the music industry. You became a DJ. You toured the country. You moved to New York City. You worked for these major <laughs> labels. I mean, this is something that's in your blood. Yeah, it really is. I, uh, I, I, yeah, I can't shake it. My kids are tired of hearing me play music for them. <laughs> well, you can never you can never be tired of music. I'm going to open this up, yep. and I'm just going to read a couple of pages because this brought me so much joy reading this book. Do you have a favorite? Ooh, let's see. Um, I like the section. Okay, here's, yeah, this is probably one of my favorites. Then a muscular teen from the borough of Queens in a Kango hat burst on the scene. He went by the name of Ladies Love Cool James and in no time flat earned his worldwide fame. He was known as LL. He was rocking the bells. When he stepped to the bat, he was doing it well. LL Cool J loved girls around the way. Don't call it a comeback because he was here to stay. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. And like you said, you wrote this children's book because you wanted to share it with your children. Yeah. And now children really all across the country are learning about punk. They're learning about hip hop. What does yeah. that mean to you? Uh, I mean, it's amazing. It, it's, <laughs> it's funny because one of the reasons why I wanted to write this from the beginning was obviously we live in a world where hip hop is all around us and there's a hip hop culture. Um, but I wanted to be able to share, as I mentioned, you know, I grew up right in the early 80s when hip hop was taking shape. And um, I wanted to be able to share what it was like to hear it for the first time. And I mean, especially for me, like a kid in the suburbs of St. Louis, it was like groundbreaking. It was something I'd never heard or experienced before. And uh, just the energy of it was really nice. And so I, think, I wanted them to know that. And that's pretty cool. And I think that's so many people's stories. Like they remember, oh my gosh, when hip hop hit the scene, my dad tells me so many stories <laughs> about it, right? Yeah. This is amazing. Now I want to go to the back of the book too, because it's not just about the beginnings of hip hop. It is about hip hop today. I mean, you have Tupac, you have Biggie, but then we go to the end. And you have Outkast, you have Missy Elliott, you have Kanye, you have Nicki, you have Drake, one of my <laughs> favorites. You really do cover the span of this. And I have one more question for you, Eric. Yeah. I mean, you've traveled the world, you've seen a lot, and you decided to come back here in St. Louis. Why? Oh, man. I mean, you know, I, as you said, I've, I've been a lot of different places. Um, this is where it all started for me. I've got four kids. I'm a single dad. And um, I just, th these are my roots. And I really wanted to be back here and I wanted them to have the, the experiences and the opportunities that I had growing up in St. Awesome. Louis. Well, they are yeah. over there in the wings. Y'all wanna come on over? Come on, hurry up. <laughs> this is like the perfect Father's Day and you have a bonus, bonus <laughs> with you. So Eric, happy Father's Day. <laughs> Thank you so for much. joining us. Again, St. Louis, you have to get your hands on this. This has been another edition of In the Books, a local St. Louis author. He's traveled the world. He's a DJ, he's a musician, he's a writer, and he's showing off what is hip hop along with his first book, What is Punk? And again, all of that will be on our website, studioscl.tv. Eric, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Celebrating African American Music yeah. History Month. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Happy Father's Day too. Thanks so much. Don't Appreciate go anywhere, it. St. Louis. We'll be right back after this quick break.